Mr. Gray, you have repeatedly stated here today that you believe that there was no intent to mislead. Let's look at what happened. CTV spliced together three short sound bites. Sound bites spliced together, not even in the order that they were stated, to create an entirely made up sentence, literally fake news, that entirely changed the meaning of what Pierre Polyev said. So, on what basis do you conclude that there was no intent to mislead? On what basis exactly? Two now former staff members of CTV News acted in a way that was in breach of our editorial standards. Who made a conclusive statement that there was no intent to mislead. So I'm asking you, on what basis do you draw that conclusion? Based on 33 years of experience, and this being the Mr. first Ray, and only Mr. time, Ray, no one believes like you. And you happened. said, you said, for example, that uh, that the employee who altered the, the video, one of the two employees, said that uh, he or she believed uh, that uh, it would be understood to be about the carbon tax election. Yet nowhere in the report is there any mention of a carbon tax election. So on what basis could anyone reasonably believe that that statement was made in that context when there was no context? Quite the opposite, disinformation. I disagree. Dis it's a fact that there was no mention of a carbon tax election. You have no credibility, and in the face of the fact that CTV peddled a fraudulent news story, and you haven't apologized, you haven't explained the basis upon which you have asserted that there was no intent to mislead, to simply say you disagree isn't good enough, no one believes you. We have Mr. in fact apologized twice. Okay. You haven't apologized at all. You said there was no intent to mislead. No intent to mislead, but you can't even articulate the basis of why. There was no intent to mislead. We have apologized say that, twice. But, but I asked you to provide a basis, and you haven't been able to provide a basis. 2.30. Go ahead, Mr. Caputo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. 